Welcome to the Recreating You game. This is a live course that we delivered between 2018 and 2020. We've now gone on to do a new program that we love called the Smart Soul Experience. But I wanted to put this out there onto YouTube because we had thousands of people that had extraordinary results and I think it's just an amazing program. So I wanted to give it to you guys for free. So here's the deal. Please bring a friend. This is way more fun to do with someone else. Do the days in order. It's supposed to be done day one through day 12. There's a reason for that. It builds on itself. Have a great time and you're going to have amazing ahas about your inner experience. This will cure, yes, cure stress, anxiety, worry, fear, and overwhelm in your life, as well as giving you direction on the next right thing for you to do in every moment. Have a great time. Enjoy the program. All right. Day three, day three of the recreating you game. Hello, 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 hello. How are you? Ah, all right. You all are doing so good. I'm so happy to have you here and more and more of you. Hi, everybody. Hi, I see you. I'm so glad you guys are having fun. I'm so glad you're enjoying this. I love that you enjoy that I'm a part of your mornings. Thank you so much. I've been getting those comments and it's fabulous. So happy to see you. All right, day three, day three. So yesterday you did your listening practice and you began the process of quieting your mind. And that's so important because you need to know what you're thinking in relationship to what your internal guidance system is feeling in order for you to pivot. And today we're going to have our first play of the day on pivoting, which is going from the closing into an opening, going from the closing into the opening. So you're going to want to pivot. And this is how you begin to reprogram. Remember I talked about reprogramming the neural pathways of your mind, right? Your neural pathways of your mind are programmed by your nervous system in your body. I'm going to share something with you, okay? So for everybody that's out there, and I'm sorry this is a US-centric example, for those of you in the US, I have a question for you. What color is a yield sign? What color is a yield sign, the traffic sign in the US? Go ahead and type in the answer. Go ahead and type in your answer really quick in the comments here. A color is a yield sign. So between the ages of zero and seven, our mind is programmed with a bunch of stuff. We watch everybody around us and we collect, oh, this is how you feel about that and this is what you think about that and this is who I am as a person, okay? And then what happens is, is after the age of seven, it begins to slow down. You begin, it begins to slow down and you begin collecting information more in a regular way. It's not as like speedy, okay? So there's a lot of programming that happens. Now, the color of a yield sign, I wanted to give you guys some time to put it in there. The color of a yield sign in the United States is red and white. If you said yellow, you are not correct. In 1971, the US Congress changed the yellow yield sign to red and white. That's right, yes. Shock, everybody's shocked, I know. <laughs> and most of you, some of your minds are going, no, that's not true. I know I've seen a yellow and black yield sign. It's not true. By 1974, they were all changed. There are no yellow and black yield signs. Now you're like, I know I've seen them. And you have, because people have them stuck in their consciousness and they're still producing them. You'll see them on t-shirts and book covers and posters. And you know, I was like, my son was 16 months old and I was watching Sesame Street. It was a brand new Sesame Street. The guy that was the snowman in Frozen was on, the actor, and he has holding up a yellow yield sign. So now my 16 month old little son who's sucking everything in has seen the yellow and black yield sign, even though it's not a real traffic sign anymore. That's how it keeps getting reproduced. That's how people who were born after 1974 still have yellow and black in their consciousness. Now, most of you are going to go to Wikipedia and go ahead, you'll see, and look around. And this is the key thing. Even if I ask you this two years from now, there's a good chance you'll know it's a trick question, but most of you will not be able to answer red and white. And even as you're driving around the world, you'll have a hard time seeing them because you're not seeing them. It's a blind spot. Now, here's why this is important. This is not just a funny trick question. You have yellow yield signs in your life about your worth, what you're capable of, your success, your, how much you can be loved, what love is, 
how much money you can make, whether you whether people like you or not, um, people talking about behind your back, uh, how bit nice of a house you can have, whether you're clean, whether you're not clean. I mean, aren't we getting labeled when we're little kids? Oh, she's the shy one. He's the smart one. He's the athletic one. You know, whatever it is, she's she's not good at math. That was mine. You know, I was told I was not good at math, and so you carry these things forward. Well, this is the coolest thing ever. Your internal guidance system, when you feel that lump in your throat and the tightness in your chest and the sick feeling in the pit of your stomach, your internal guidance system is telling you that you just ran across a thought that's not true for you in this present moment. It is awakening you to your yellow yield signs. How cool is that, man? Think about it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so I want to let you know that when you redo something in your mind, you need to use your nervous system. So if I gave you a box of crayons and showed you a picture of a red and white yield sign and had you draw a red and white yield sign, you'll never forget it again. Because your hand and your body and visual, you're doing it, you're, you're creating it. Well, your IGS uses your nervous system and you can physically feel the opening to, which is a new thought, and you're programming, what I'm training you to do is program your mind as you are moving through your life, not sitting down somewhere in a meditative state and being like, oh, what were the thoughts today that were wrong for me? No, you are going, you're at work, you see two people talking that are in power, your mind goes, oh, they're talking about me, I didn't do a good job. You close, oh, that's not true. It's not true, they're not even thinking about me at all. Ooh, bigger opening. In fact, I wonder if they're even happy with my work. Ooh, bigger opening. And now that new neural pathway has started. Okay, you can't go back to the old one. The closing feels unreal. It's not true, you know it. So here's the play of the day, okay? This is the first time we're gonna get to use your pivot. You just, when you go through your day, and you, we don't wanna, don't ask questions of your IGS. If you're sitting there going, oh, should I do this or that? It doesn't work. As you're going through your day and you feel stressed, stop, drop into your listening, feet, hands. What was I just thinking? I'm closed, that means what I'm thinking is not true or not gonna happen. What was I just thinking? You'll come upon it. Now, if you can't understand what you were just thinking, that's normal, but you'll come upon it, right? There'll be like a thought there. And you're like, oh, that's not true. I'm closed, that means I'm closed. That means what I'm thinking is not true or not gonna happen. And then you think, how do I want it to be instead? How do I want it to be instead? Now, your first response to how do I want it to be instead could be reactionary. I want that person to be fired, right? <laughs> I, I want, uh, you know, whatever it is that you're thinking in the moment, and that may not open you because your first response is reactionary. We're gonna talk more about reactionary. But what just, if it doesn't open, you'd be like, okay, well, that's not how I want it to be because I would open. And just play with it. How do I want it to be instead? Hmm. This is pivoting, finding the opening, using your thoughts and finding the opening. It's not per always the opposite. And I'm going to talk more about that, but this is just a beginning practice. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Stop. Huh, I'm closed. That means what I'm thinking is not true or not going to happen. How do I want it to be instead? That's your play of the day three. How do I want it to be instead? Okay. So have a good day. Do not make this more complicated than it is. Make it fun. Make it fun. Okay. That's what's important. And I hope I'm sending you love and blessings. I hope you have an amazing day. All right. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for doing the Recreating You game. I hope you're having extraordinary ahas already. People have from day one. And so no matter where you are in the game, there's amazing things that you're learning about yourself and the power that lies within you. If you would like to have your questions answered, please put them in the comments below. We do our best to get back to comments or so does our, our members <laughs> and our students. They love to go ahead and, and support people in learning to use their IGS. You are welcome to email us at support at smartsoul.com to get more deep into the programs, or you can go to smartsoulacademy.com if you already know you want to jump in and learn how to master this extraordinary thing that you were born with, your internal guidance system. There you'll find 16 programs that lead you through all areas of your life and weekly group coaching with me so that we can work on your specific issues and supporting you and getting aligned with your purpose, your prosperity, and peace. That's smartsoulacademy.com, and it's all available to you for $25 a month. I know, amazing can afford this less than Starbucks each week. Come check it out. SmartSoulAcademy.com.